Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Latestly. I want to begin by expressing my deepest condolences for the sudden and tragic loss of life due to this flash flood. I know uh, we've reached out to the community and we stand ready to offer them support. I've asked the administrator to speak to Governor Lee of Tennessee right away and we'll offer any assistance they need for this terrible moment. Let me also say a few words uh, what is was now tropical storm, not Hurricane Henri, which made landfall at approximately 1215 this afternoon in Rhode Island. Henri is impacting much of the Northeast right now. And I want to talk about our efforts to prepare and respond to this storm. We have uh, been closely monitoring Henri's progress and making the necessary preparations. Fortunately, it's no longer a hurricane. It's been downgraded to a tropical storm. And we are taking it uh, uh, seriously, though, because the size and the storm surge and the rainfall is producing. It's also, uh, I, it, it's also impacting an area of the country that has already experienced heavy rainfall over the past several days. And while New Englanders are used to dealing with uh, some tough weather, this storm has the potential for widespread consequences across the region with significant flooding and power outages that could affect hundreds of thousands of people. And so we're doing everything we can now to help those states prepare, respond, and recover. I can't uh, think of anyone better to lead this operation than, than uh, uh, Deanne uh, uh, Criswell of, uh, of FEMA. Um, she's, she, before she headed up FEMA, she led the emergency response in New York City, and she was one of the key federal officials leading our response to Superstorm, Superstorm Sandy. She knows this area very, very well and knows what's needed better than anyone. Yesterday, I talked with the administrator and each of the governors in the key states most likely to be affected. I urged them to take advantage of the assistance FEMA can offer in advance and committed to do everything we can to support their communities through the storm and afterwards. FEMA has already prepositioned resources in the region to speed our ability to respond, including food, water, and life-saving communications equipment, as well as generators. In close cooperation with the electrical sector, preparations are in place to address significant power outages, and resources and supports is staged at the edge of this storm to be able to move quickly in to help. Thousands of additional line crews and vegetation clearing crews uh, from other states and from Canada are already heading toward the impacted states in New England, ready to serve and, and as move in as soon as, as feasible. They'll clean up fallen trees, help local utilities repair damaged lines, and restore electrical service as fast as possible. And I want to thank these crews for their commitment to helping their fellow citizens in time of need. I've already approved, I've already approved emergency declarations for Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New York, which activates funds and means we can, uh, we can get in there and help as soon as this extreme weather has moved through. We don't know the full extent of the storm's impact today, but we're acting to prepare for and prevent damage as much as possible and to uh, speed help to affected communities so they can recover as quickly as possible. I also want to encourage everyone to do their part to prepare. Follow the guidance from their local authorities. Some places have already had heavy rains and winds and dangerous storm surges. Henri is, is going to continue to move across much of the Northeast. So it's important to monitor it closely and be prepared in your home, in your community. Make sure you have the supplies for your entire household, including necessary medications and food, water, battery-powered radios in case of extended power outages.